This is Jeff from Shout Out Minnesota, and we are here with Chris Weidman, UFC middleweight champion. How you doing, Minnesota? All right, Chris. Uh, welcome to Minnesota. Uh, so I see that you're also from New York, where uh, I'm originally from too, upstate yes. New York, and you're from Baldwin. That's right. All right. Uh, tell us a little about yourself, a little bit about uh, your background, and um, how'd you get into the UFC? Uh, well, I'm from Baldwin, Long Island, New York. Uh, I wrestled my whole life, and you know, I wrestled in college, tried for the 2008 Olympics. Uh, from there is when I got into fighting, uh, and that's been a steady, steady, uh, steady incline up into the rankings. And, uh, now I'm here with some UFC champion. You know, obviously, lots of setbacks and things coming through, but uh, now I finally got to the top and try to hold the belt as long as possible. Awesome. I see you're 10-0, uh, you're undefeated so far in the UFC, which is a, a big accomplishment. Um, now, the weight class itself, I mean, is, is loaded with a lot of good fighters. Uh, of course, one of them being Anderson Silva, who uh, you took the title from. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about the, uh, the fight and how it went in your mind? Yeah, for Anderson Silva, who's you know, known as one of the greatest of all time, a lot of people thought he was unbeatable. Uh, so it was a huge win for me to get, and now we fight again December 28th. Uh, and it's, you know, it's going to be a challenge again, and I'm excited to go out there and, and prove some doubters wrong and uh, get the W. Um, now, I, I myself was watching the fight and stuff, and it seemed like he was a little cocky, uh, like he wasn't giving you the respect. Um, do you feel that he was trying to be that way, or do you think it, uh, he's just trying to get in your head during the fight, or uh, how do you think uh, he was trying to play you as far as the, the fight goes? Well, he does that in every one of his fights. He puts his hands down, he talks a little trash. He does it again to the opponent's head. So it's, it's basically it's just a, you know, it's part of the psychology of the sport, you know, trying to mess with the, with mess with the guy, make, make the guy feel like you know, he doesn't belong in the cage with you. So he does a great job doing that and really prepared for that. Uh, but he definitely was excessive on it in my fight, and uh, I wanted to make a big so. Okay. Um, another thing too, uh, training. Uh, everybody has their own style of training. Um, is there anything that's unique that you do uh, that's different from a lot of people that train for MMA? Uh, unique? Not really. Uh, I think the biggest thing is no secrets. You know, I just work as hard as I can every day. I try to outwork everybody in the room. Uh, you know, I put myself in a place where there's a lot of guys around. So, you know, steel sharp, iron sharp as iron. And uh, you know, I'm also probably the most unique thing is that you know I stayed where I'm from. You know, I'm from Long Island, New York. I have great people there. I'm blessed to have that. And um, you know, I just go from Long Island to New York City. So, you know, it's, uh, it works out perfect. I'm very comfortable. Okay, so you got another fight coming up in December. Um, any plans to change routines or anything, or it's pretty much uh, the, the experience? Does that help you uh, with the first fight on how you're going to approach the second fight? I mean, I guess I'm going to probably have more confidence just knowing, you know, I'm going to have more influence on my feet. Uh, last time, I don't think he respected me and my feet as much. So now, me having more respect on my feet is probably going to open up the rest of my game and uh, make everything a little easier. I'm also expecting him to come out, um, you know, more determined and, 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 and just more careful. So, um, it's going to be a different fight, and I'm excited to, you know, to show what I can do. Okay, well, there's a lot of UFC fans uh, here in Minnesota. Um, what do you got to say to them guys, to these fans that, that watch uh, and support the UFC? I love coming to Minnesota. Been to Minneapolis now about three times. Every time I come here, everybody's really nice to say. But um, uh, yeah, I appreciate anybody who supports me. I appreciate it. Even if you doubt me, I appreciate it. Uh, just make sure you watch the 7th It's going to be good. All right, any pick for tomorrow night's fight? Uh, Benson Henderson and Pettis. I'm going to say Pettis comes through on this fight. I think Pettis finds a way to win. Uh, Benson has, has had some really close fights. Kind of squeezed out some of them. Uh, I, think this is, I think Pettis is the guy who can really take it from himself. We'll just see what happens. Okay, well, we thank you for your time. Uh, I want to give one last shout out to the fans of Minnesota. Love you, fans of Minnesota. Thank you.